and to be, you know, try to beat the better version of myself, which was last year, to be a better athlete. I told myself that I want to be the greatest female sprinter. So good and well when you're a favorite or you have run fast, but you have to actually do it when it comes. And tonight, you know, I'm happy that I actually came away with the victory. The world of track and field has seen its fair share of captivating rivalries, but few have been as enthralling and consistent as the competition between Elaine Thompson and Shelly Ann Fraser-Price. These two Jamaican sprinters have dominated the international stage and captivated fans with their exceptional talent, fierce determination, and immense speed. So it's about time we delve into the captivating rivalry between these two remarkable athletes exploring their rise to stardom, their head-to-head -head battles, and the impact they have had on the world of sprinting. It's a common narrative in sport. There is the proven experienced champion versus the up-and-coming young star. Who wants to take that crown away? This story is one that follows that same narrative because at the time of Elaine's rise at the University of Technology in 2013, Shelly Ann had already garnered a lot of success. She had the two Olympic 100-meter titles and had gone on to win her second world title, quietly proving herself on the local scene. Elaine was under the radar of Stephen Francis, who knew she had just a bit more work to do before fully transitionally to club-only competition. A year later, she proved her worth, winning the Jamaican Intercollegiate 100-meter title and grabbing a silver medal in the 200 meters. However, earlier that year, something very significant took place when Elaine and Shelly Ann met in a competitive space for the first time at the Queen's Grace Jackson meet. This was a 60-meter dash where they both were just opening their seasons, and to no surprise, the already established Fraser Price won. Meanwhile, Elaine finished in third. Later that year, Elaine would make her first national team, joining Shelly Ann as a member of the Commonwealth team heading to the Gold Coast. She only competed on the 4x1 squad only on the prelims, quite similar to Fraser Price in her first ever showing on a Jamaican team, albeit on a relatively smaller stage. This gave her much confidence heading into 2015, where she would fully commit to achieving more, training alongside Shelly Ann Fraser Price. It didn't take long to notice Elaine was going to be a threat as she dominated the local circuit, holding a eight race win streak in both the 100 and 200 meters inside Jamaica, a streak that included a 100 meter win over a high caliber field at the Jamaica International Invitational, one that included Allison Felix, Karen Stewart, Blessing Okagbare, among others. So with that, it was very evident that heading into the national championships, Elaine was the biggest threat to Shelly Ann. While there was anticipation for a clash between the two in Kingston, there came a decision that would see the then training partners stay out of each other's way. Shelly Ann stuck to the 100 meters, while Elaine, a better 200 meter runner, focused on that alone. The two won their events at the national championships. And you're making your senior uh, team now a national team, national senior team representing Jamaica over 200 meters. How do you take the MVP energy, translate it into national energy? Well, I'm pretty excited to switch from the 100 to the 200 this year to see how far I am now. So I'm just working with Stephen Francis and see where I go from here. You're pretty conf confident going in that the 200 meters is your is yours to make your mark internationally. Uh, well, why not? I've been training for it and I've been doing a lot of work, so yes, I'm confident. You have your game face on. Uh, a wonderful run for you. World leading time 10.79. But what was the mindset uh, as you went into this evening's final? Um, well, first of all, you know, um, I would like to give God thanks for everything that has happened so far. I mean, before I came into the national championship, I had a slight hamstring pain and. You know, I took my time and I came back and I was just training hard. I mean, tonight's round is just to execute. It's more execution than anything else. But as you know, I've already qualified, so I wanted to get that run in based on the fact that I've missed some races. So I need the races to get myself into shape. So that was the plan. Then at the World Championships, 
Shelly Ann won her third 100 meter world title. And Elaine emerged as the second best 200 meter sprinter, finishing behind Daphne Skippers in a time that made her the fifth fastest woman in history. Going well, she's chasing McGrone round the bend. Asher Smith's going wonderfully well in lane number four. Keep your eyes on the outside though. Tamu's going well, McGrone. Here comes Elaine Thompson in lane five. What has Daphne Shippers got left? It's Thompson, it's Shippers. Daphne Shippers, 21.65 seconds. Finally achieving global success, albeit a silver medal, Elaine now wanted to take the next step. Meanwhile, Shelly Ann was aware of the young and hungry upcoming star, laying a foundation for the official start of a legendary rivalry. Even though they both remained in the same camp, it was clear they both wanted to be on top of the hill, especially in an Olympic year, where the most eyes are on the sport, and having taken the last two titles in the 100 meters, Shelly Ann was heavily favored to take a third Olympic 100 meter title until the season actually begun. Since her emergence in 2008, Shelly Ann was never the one to come down with a lot of injuries, nor major ones. But in 2016, it was revealed she was suffering a toe injury. And with such an announcement, Elaine's push was for double gold, was the obvious decision to ensure that Jamaica captured their fourth straight title. But even facing that dilemma, the defending champion remained defiant, taking on the inform Elaine for the first time ever in a 100-meter race at the Jamaican Olympic Trials. The two met in the final, where Elaine left her in the dust to record a brand new personal best in world leading time of 10.70 seconds, securing her spot as the Jamaican champion and favorite for gold at the Rio Olympics. Defense break as well, Elaine Thompson is up while Shelly and Fraser Price is blind. Veronica Cameron Brown has work to do. Elaine Thompson has the lead, Elaine Thompson pulls away and wins it in 1072. Wow, she has destroyed that field oh. to 100 outside the no, Jamaican it's record. No, it's a national record. 1070. She has equaled the Jamaican <laughs> record and it's a 1-2-3 for the MVP group. At the Olympic Games in Rio, Elaine would defeat Fraser Price again to win gold in the 100 before moving on to take gold in the 200 meters, achieving one of the greatest and rare feats in sprinting, at 24 years old finally taking over as the best female sprinter on the planet. The fallout of the 2016 campaign saw Shelly Ann take time off from the sport, but also made a huge change, leaving the MVP track club after 11 years. This came as a shock, but more so felt like the ending of an era. But to our surprise, it was only the beginning of one of the greatest periods in sprinting history. In 2017, when the world was at Elaine's feet for her first world title, an Achilles injury took that opportunity away, giving the United States their first 100-meter title in over half a decade. Clearly now, the goal was to reset and prepare for the 2019 World Championships. This was going well seeing that even with the re-entry of Shelly Ann to the sport, Elaine managed to defeat her for the 2018 national title, this being her fourth victory over the legendary sprinter in the 100 without tasting defeat to her once. She brought that number up to five in 2019, defeating her once again for the national title, and once again went into another global championships as clear favorite. The national Stadium. Set. Settled nicely in the block. Set. Off they go. Fraser Price got a great start. Thompson, Williams and company have begun their bout of chasing. Shelly and Fraser Price on top. Elaine Thompson comes forward. Elaine Thompson gets there by the player of an Australia. 10.77 seconds. A season best. 700 of a second outside the national record. 
She holds joints with Fraser Price, who had to set for the runner-up spot. An imperious performance by Elaine Thompson. Uh, well, we asked for it, but we do not yet know that. That would all change in the very first round of the championships, when Shelly Ann dropped an insanely fast 10.80 seconds in just the first round of the championships. Expectant hush around the stadium. It's a solid start from Fraser Price. Look at Muriel Ahore going well, and Svoboda on the far side trying to get that third spot. Fraser Price, Ahore, and I think Svoboda might just have hung on. Wow, we. Is that a mistake? 10.81 in the heat of the. This moment opened the eyes of the world because obviously this was not the same version that left the sport in 2016. This was a brand new and more dangerous Shelly Ann. The final would see her dominate the field, which included Elaine, to win her fourth 100 meter title. It's a clean start. There's a roar from the crowd. Shelly Ann Fraser Price gets a good start. Dina Asher Smith going well. Fraser Price is going to get there. What a performance. Fraser Price and it's silver for Dina Asher Smith. Another gold. Her legacy as one of the all time greats is surely complete. The two wouldn't cross paths again until 2021, leading up to another Olympic Games, where Shelly Ann this time had less outside pressure. Seeing that she was in her 30s and was not defending champion, more pressure was on Elaine. But for some reason, Shelly Ann was pushing to achieve even more, and this intent was seen when she dropped a 10.63 inside Kingston, becoming the first Jamaican woman to reach those heights, as well as take over as the fastest woman alive. Staying true to form, she pulled off something she never did before, which was defeating Elaine in both the 100 and 200 meters at the Jamaican Championships, totally spinning the rivalry on its head, because five years prior, she was the undisputed queen of sprinting being upstaged. But all of a sudden, Elaine was struggling to take her down. No steps forward, the world champion has the better of the Olympic champion with Vaseline, and then comes through when she... On the outside, trying to make a stump race of it as well. Sharita Jackson now. Look for that 400 meter strength to come forward. She's finishing fast and furious. But Shelly and Fraser Price, the 100 meter champion, is the 200 meter champion. 21.77 seconds, the flash time. Jackson seconds per second, just like it was in the 100 meters final. That's the order of the finish in the 200 meters. Somehow, on the grand stage, Elaine found the speed in her legs to finally stop Shelly Ann again winning another sprint double, doing so in times that not only saw her became Olympic champion in the 1 and 200 meters, but took the crown as the fastest woman alive. That win elevated her even more, even though she was already a star. Her dim in performances from 2017 up to that point in 2021 required such performance to elevate her to the status she got to in 2021. At this point, you'd think the rivalry's twist and turn would end, but no, it wouldn't, as Shelly Ann got even better in 2022, dropping the fastest season opener ever, 10.67 seconds. All this while Elaine was settling in a new training camp, choosing to walk away from the MVP track club at the heights of her success, total contrast to her rival. This seemed a defining decision as Shelly Ann's newfound consistency saw her massacre all her competition throughout the season, even leading to defeating Elaine once again on the world stage, grabbing her fifth 100 meter world title in style with a new championship record. World title, and she's going to do it. Shelly Ann Fraser Price from Elaine Thompson Hera. Five world titles, five over 100 meters. She needed a quick start. She got a quick start, and with it, she takes the glory. At last, Elaine thompson Herod does get her hands on a World Championship medal, but it's silver because it's glorious gold once again to Shelly Ann Fraser-Price. Absolutely incredible. This moment would set the stage for the final chapter, which we are about to witness this 2024 season, where after seven years, the two are with the same coach, but remain focused on taking each other down. Even though this is the last ride for Fraser Price, her eyes are fixed on the prize, while Elaine is focused on redemption, trying to defend her territory. So with a rivalry that remained friendly but raised the bar in female sprinting for almost an entire decade, expect nothing but fireworks as we witness this final chapter of the fastest rivalry in female sprinting.